Welcome back to the Spike Xenotic Dual Cup yada 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 of January. We have Shipyard versus Mirio, and we are on Fuse. We're going to be starting off with these two. This is now into the bracket stage of the tournament. We have left the group stages where we didn't have all that many games to show, but got a couple of good ones. Might have some more coming because I've just remembered I've lost some. Um, and yeah, we're going to have Shipyard versus Mirio going on Fuse to start off our bracket games. Shipyard, pretty good player. Um, haven't really seen them play much because they kind of popped up while I've been a little bit away from the game. Mirio, the absolute legend. We know him, we love him. He's probably going to uh, play very carefully in back spammy but shipyard seems to be playing the same kind of game as well so this could be an interesting battle of the strategic aiming for the back play shipyard taking the first frag so clearly not as shit as he was trying to make out <laughs> sending the demos like oh they're not that great like if you're taking frags off mirror you're pretty good <laughs> i've never done that <laughs> i don't think of frag mirror much in tdm at least not in a fair fight. Beautiful three frags up there. Using the space in the map. This map no mega armors, so deaths happen a lot quicker because there's just a raw less amount of health and armor and stack to be available. Shipyard using the rocket jump there beautifully, like the uh, ability to explode a rocket mid-air, meaning you can rocket jump yourself in mid-air without having to have a wall next to you. Is sitting on very low health, so needs to be careful using a hell of a lot of... Uh, I wonder if Shipyard came from Clan Arena. Because that's the sort of place where you'd find a strategy like that. Where you'd use a lot of blaster, where it doesn't matter. But... Goes down to Mirio. Shipyard. Oh, Mirio. Absolutely beautiful. The thing we love him for, using that Crylink, stopping Shipyard's retreat. The Crylink will pull uh, your opponent towards you when you hit them. So if you want to engage in a fight, it's the perfect weapon. If you want to stop their retreat and force them into a fight, absolutely beautiful. And Mirio uses it to perfection. Both these two players playing incredibly strategically and incredibly well. Mirio going in, he pushes. We don't often see this from Mirio, actually, but... Seems to have been getting better at it recently. Uh, just really, really pushing. A lot of the time, he'd kind of back out, and you'd think, he's backed out when guy's on two health. <laughs> but I've seen a few games recently where Mirio has been pushing in and making sure that he finishes off the frags when he's got that definite advantage. Like right now, he's got that advantage. He's going to want to push for this one. He hasn't taken too much damage from that shot. But he is going to back off. Now, admittedly, it's not always the right time to push. And being the position Shipyard was in uh, would put Mirio on the back foot. And there's plenty of time. So I think we'll see Mirio pushing when he's either definitely got the advantage. I don't think he knows he's definitely got the advantage right now. He may be quite low stack. And this is the thing about this map as well. Um, because we can't see Mirio's stack from this point of view. We can't go over to him because it's a point of view demo. Chipyard fragging himself in that fight though. If Mirio, because this map doesn't have such big stacked armors. You've only got that one mega health and the... Two little armors. Shipyard, uh, sorry, Mirio could be thinking, "Oh, I'm under 50 health." So Shipyard could be on two, but if Mirio's on under 50, that's railable, rocketable. Basically, every every main weapon in the game can do 50 health, just like that. Beautiful, waiting for the uh, waiting for the crosshair, not waiting for the. Not putting the crosshair on the player, but waiting for the player to move into the crosshair. Shipyard waiting, knowing that Mirio was going to be around there. Waited for the perfect time to strike and made it absolutely beautifully because he didn't take any damage there. A little bit early on this Mega though. But he's going to be able to take that position. The Mega position is interesting because you are vulnerable from many sides. But if someone comes from where Mirio just came from, 
absolutely not vulnerable at all. You are in the perfect position because they can't shoot up to you and uh, land kind of grenades around you, at least for good damage. And you can just bang, bang, bang down to them. Halfway through now, though, we're very tight on this game. We've got a few suicides going on, which is interesting when you see it. But it brings the scoreline a little bit more down. And Mirio is one frag up. But Shipyard playing incredibly well to counter all of this. Beautiful shots there though. Connecting these shots around the corners. You know, you can't see your opponent. You're kind of guessing where they are. And just being able to connect them absolutely stunningly. Shipyard going to go down though. He's not been able to get his hands on the Mega recently. Let's have a look. There's only three Megas. So Mirio taking, I think, eight Megas it'd be. And again, Shipyard goes down, but it's it's close. It's just can Shipyard manage to get back in the game. If Mirio can manage to main, maintain control, which is something Mirio does incredibly well, then I think it's... You know, it's just going to roll itself out. But the thing with Mirio is that he doesn't rack up the frags while he's in control. And we see it when he loses control. Uh, some people are just able to bang, bang, bang. Gain, they gain control and bang, bang, bang. They're back on because Mirio's only got a small amount of frags. But we are seeing Mirio manage to take these Shipyard potentially pushing it a little bit too aggressively at some points like this. Pushing there and with no weapon, just with the blaster. Really does need to just get out and get another weapon, but going to die to get out of there. He's going to respawn in a favourable position, but unfortunately Mirio is going to find him with a rail. Surprise none of those grenades connected. That is incredible luck. And Mirio just with the flick down. Takes out a blasting shipyard. Very dangerous um, to blast because you'll have taken 13 damage out of that, most likely. Um, and that'll have, you know, anything hits you. <laughs> a little bit of shrapnel from the edge of a grenade and you're gone. 20 health and then into a blaster for 13. Mirio is pushing up the score limit now. So Shipyard's going to have quite some work cut out to come back from this if he can regain control. I think what would be more interesting is just seeing if he's able to gain control and the ways that he tries to gain control because it's difficult for Mirio to lose control totally here with such a short amount of time left. The items can't really rotate out of, out of pattern. But... Shipyard is going to be on the offensive again, shooting into these spots, knows where Mirio wants to be, knows where he wants to be, and he's getting some shots out, but Mirio's just going to stay where he is, I think, there. In shot, don't chase, there's no need, you've got 10 frags on the scoreboard, why let your opponent frag you when you can just keep control? Oh, beautiful shot there. Shipyard able to connect two rails in a row without swapping weapon. Which isn't impressive in this game. Got to not swap weapon. Connecting a bit of shrapnel. Unable to get through the door. Connects a rail. Nice connections on there. But Mirio is also managing to connect rails. And the difference is, the major difference is Mirio is able to collect the items as well as connect the shots. Um, Shipyard just hasn't had those items, just hasn't really had the stack. I think they've, look, they've done about the same amount of damage, only 500 damage more from Mirio, which in the grand scheme of this game, not a lot, but the score limit would say that they've done such a massive amount of damage different, but Shipyard's just not been able to get in there at the right time, do the damage at the right time, and take the frags. It was very close at the start, though, when they were both going back and forth with the control. But it was about five minutes in, Mirio managed to get the control, and he's just kept it beautifully. 
One last hurrah. With four seconds left. Don't think they're going to see each other. And that is it. It is GG. Well played to the both of you. Congratulations, Mirio, for taking this one. And I will see you in the next video for the second map. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.